The message from doctors and politicians alike after the president's diagnosis, this virus can truly get to anyone. 41 Action News reporter Sarah Plake talked with doctors in the metro about what you should take away from what's unfolding out of D.C. Local doctors are taking this time to remind everybody to keep wearing your masks and to social distance and to go back to the basics of how this virus works. President Donald Trump is now being treated at Walter Reed Medical Center and First Lady Melania Trump is in quarantine after announcing they tested positive for COVID-19. It doesn't care about state lines. It doesn't care about how much money you make. It doesn't care if you're the president. Doctors at the University of Kansas Health System say it's common to test negative late one day and then test positive the next morning, which may have happened with the president and his aide, who also tested positive. The two were among those who traveled together to Tuesday's debate. It's the reason that we say you can't test out of quarantine, that a negative test on day seven means nothing on day eight if you start having symptoms. On average, people develop symptoms about four to five days after they're exposed to the virus, but it can even be up to 12 days. You know, in the very, very very early stages, the test may be negative. But um, again, the, the, the greatest proportion of virus that people shed is on the day they develop symptoms. Dr. Joel McKenzie at Research Medical Center reminds us that people over 50 and especially over 60 have a higher chance of developing more severe symptoms, along with people who are overweight and have health issues. Coronavirus is prevalent in the community, so anything we can do to try to minimize the risk of transmission from person to person is worth doing. Sarah Plake, 41 Action News.